The Gadget Game Show is still on the road at the National Hardware Show in Las Vegas, Nevada. Here's our next mystery gadget. This is a tough one. Do you know what this gadget is, what it does? Just watch, what the heck is that? What the heck is that? Welcome to What the Heck Is That? The new gadget game show. This one I'm gonna tell you I think is very hard. Uh -oh. But you guys are up to the challenge. This is our mystery gadget. It's just that it comes in several colors, but let's just look at one of them. Here, the blue one, for example. And this thing solves a problem in most every home in America. It's for sale right now. And your question for you is, what the heck is that? Wow. And we're gonna be starting once again, Mike. Okay, um, is it used? Um in a plumbing fixture. It's not used in a plumbing fixture, but I think you'll be better served if you try to first guess what room in the house it's probably most likely used in. Okay. But that but it's not a plumbing fixture. Gotcha. Okay, we go on to Nisha. Nisha, I mean hold this. Is it used in a plumbing fixture? Is it used for planters? Not used for planters. Not used for planters. Okay, Sean? Is it used in the kitchen? Yes, it is used in the kitchen, which is a great piece of information because that does narrow it down a lot. Okay, oh, I I Marcy, I see you studying it. I know what it is. I was going to ask if we could see it up close. Can we right. not really? Right. Like, I wanted to see if there were ridges or anything I think like that. I could pass it along. I don't see anything on it that gives it away. Might be my only shot for a free sample, so uh, pass it along. I know. What <laughs> okay, here, just pass it along. Luckily, it wasn't, they didn't print the name of it on it, hmm. which would, of course, give it away. Is it used to organize something? I would say, I, I think I know what you mean. I would say the answer for you would be no. I mean, it does ultimately make something work better but I wouldn't say it organizes it. Okay. So, but I, I, I hear where you're coming from. Okay, question, as we go into round two, question number two, Mike, what is your question about this product? Is it, does it serve as a spacer between things you'll have stored in the kitchen? Um, no, it really does take something which doesn't function really well right now and makes it function better. Okay. And it's a simple fix for a, a common household issue. And I'd say that, you know, weekly. Okay, now we go on to uh, Nisha. Is it something to pour from? Um, is An attachment? I would say pouring is involved. Okay. I, 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 I don't know if it's exactly what you mean here, but yes, this is something that's involved with the pouring of something. Okay, Sean? Is it heat resistant? Yes, it is heat resistant. It is heat resistant. Okay, we can move on to Marcy. Sean seems to have an idea where, where, where he's going with this. Is it used to shape something in cooking? Shape something. Um, again, I think you're thinking one thing. I don't think it's what you're thinking. But yeah, it does take something which is out of shape and puts it into shape. So in that way, you're warm. Okay, so that was two rounds. We're now up to guessing what the heck this is. Mike, you've heard the answers. You've asked the questions. Yeah. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Um, is it... Um, a coaster for hot plates. It is not a coaster or a trivet for hot items. Okay. No. Okay, we move on to Nisha. What do you think? Omelets? No, it's not for omelets. So I, I could see that, but it's not for omelets. Uh, but not a bad guess. Sean, I, I feel like you're in the 
inside lane. For, uh, for individual omelets. Did you say omelets? Pancakes. Pancakes, that's my other. Not omelets, not pancakes. <laughs> Sorry. It's some. It's something most of us heat have. Heat resistant. Every day. Shape for heat resistant. Marcy, this this is it. All the pressure's on you. I don't think I'm just feeling this. like it has to do with coffee somehow. Maybe Would it do something with the? Oh, we're giving a nod. You're getting there. You're getting there. You're getting there. You're getting there. I don't want to give you know. What is not? What is not done well with coffee right now, guys? Um. Pouring the grounds into the thing. That's what I'm spilled. thinking, but is that bad? I mean, is that um, a problem? It's a group discussion. They're making a group decision here on what this is. This is where we could use a drum roll. The coffee we think that this is for coffee filters. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> we have a winner. <laughs> why, why are they colored? It comes in various colors for no special reason. Mm. It's called the coffee bullet. And a little picture of that kind of says it, but when you oh. put your grounds in, the, the filter kind of collapses in on and it's kind of a problem. You put this in over the filter on top of the grounds and the filter stays where it belongs and it all works the way it's supposed to so you can have that great cup of coffee in the morning. <laughs> Garage Inventor. Was it? Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah. I think say. these guys did okay, really man. great. Can we do a round of applause, please? <laughs> How could you ever make another cup of coffee again and use a filter and not use this? I mean, so simple, but yet so important. Really cool idea. Now, if you like this product, mention in the comments below. And remember to subscribe and hit that little bell so when we post the next episode of What the Heck Is That? You'll be notified. Take care. I'm going to get some coffee.